What's up guys, Corvus here and welcome to episode 335 of my Pokemon Showdown Random Battle series. Now on this episode, normally we would have had five ep five battles, but we're only going to have three as I have a assignment due in tomorrow and I just want to add a few finishing touches to that. So we're going to get three battles done today, but yesterday we had two wins and one loss in our three battles. That took us a 687 wins, 309 defeats, a 378 game differential. Let's hope to win some today, and let's go underway with ball number one. Okay guys, ball number one, we lead with the Executor against the Fero. I don't like that matchup. Hmm... Go meow stick. Drill pack gonna do just over half. And I ain't out speed, so I could get off a psychic, but I think I'm gonna go yawn. Let meow stick go down, that's fine. And now we will go out into Reshira. And go for a Stone Edge. We miss, of course. Of course, the turn where I could actually get an advantage is the one I'm... Come on, game. Don't do this, please. Thank you. That doesn't kill, and he's going to wake up this turn. So, it was pointless for me to put him to sleep. Because it did nothing for me. I took basically as much damage as I would have taken if I had come in, went for a stone edge twice, and... Oh, I hate Pokemon sometimes. Why must it miss twice in a row? It's got 80 accuracy. It should hit more often than not, not miss 2 out of 3. Uh, we need to switch, realistically. Let's go on the Executor. We resist water four times. Just for the superpower though. Good move by my opponent there. Let's go for a Leaf Storm. Superpower not going to take us out. Citrus Berry we're going to consume and that should one shot it does. Very, very nice. Now I believe if we switch out now, we won't be able to harvest the Citrus Berry. Let's go for a Draco. We died to the head smash, that sucks. Um, Focus Blast I would think would kill. But I'm going to go Mr. Mime instead. And we're going to go for a Dazzling Gleam. And that one shot. Well done Mr. Mime. Life Orb Mr. Mime can one shot Tyrantrum. That's good to know. Well, this is annoying. Let's go for the Psychic. It's a two-shot. Very nice. It would have been a two-shot no matter what. Now, if he has Quick Feet, this is bad. He doesn't. He's got Guts. Alright, so Mr. Mime taking out two Pokemon for me. Starved the show so far. Let's go for a Dazzling Gleam on the Altaria. Altaria a bit quicker than I thought it was. And Dazzling Gleam does 70%, that's huge. It's going to go for a Fire Blast, take me out, of course. That's fine, we can just go out into the Tornadus. We have the Flying Gem, so we'll go for a Acrobax. Take out the Altaria, and my opponent has one Pokemon left. What's it going to be? It's an Incineroar. Let's go for a superpower. He did lower my attack. And he's going to fake out. I should have predict. I should have predicted that I was going to say. If I knew Incineroar's set a bit better, I would have went for Substitute there to avoid the fake out. Although, does fake out have plus two priority? Because if it does, I wouldn't have been able to avoid it. But anyway guys, that's going to be the end of ball number one. We are going to get a regularly, uh, sort of convincing win. Uh, 
We looked bad at the start, but we managed to turn it around, pick up the win, and let's go on to ball number two. And on to ball number two we go. Let's go for a stealth rock. Ice beam shouldn't do too much. We get the rocks off. And let's go for a... They're both neutral. Doesn't gleam get starved. So it goes to 120. So it does more. It's gonna go Ferrothorn. I wish I had gone Fire Blast. It would have been perfect. Let's go Fire Blast now. I really wish I had gone Fire Blast. But we are gonna get it off and kill the Ferrothorn in one hit. I'm guessing he was gonna rapid spin there. And that forced a rage quit, it looks like. My opponent's disconnected. They, this will give them more time to reconnect. No, we're not going to do that. That was a rage quit. I killed their Pokemon and they disconnected. It seems like a rage quit. So, I think that's going to be the end of ball number two, guys. My opponent getting a bit overconfident there. They saw the Wigglytuff. Thought they could easily take it out with Ferrothorn. Not knowing that Wigglytuff often runs a Fire-type move. And that cost them their Fire Thorn, and they decided to quit. So that's going to be the end of ball number two, guys. Let's get on to the third and final ball of today's episode. Okay, guys, so on to the final ball of the day. We lead with the Weezing versus the Togo de Mario. Let's go first turn Toxic Spikes. Yes, because we don't have a Limbal up on it. Do have a Guzzlord though, which is a Pokemon I've been wanting to try out. I've beat the game in Sun and Moon, but I haven't actually done the Ultra Beast quest in the post game yet. I've been trying to fill the Pokedex as much as I can first. I'm not sure why, because I need the Ultra Beast to fill the Pokedex. So I should probably do them first. Anyway, I don't know if my opponent's actually here. Doesn't seem to be making a move. Alright, I'm going to pause the video and then I'll bring it back. Okay, we're back. It, nothing happened. <laughs> Let's go for a Toxic Spikes. So we have Levitate with Black Sludge. Pretty standard wheezing said this. Although the lack of a secondary move, apart from Sludge Bomb, is strange. I'm hoping he doesn't have a Poison type, and he allows me to get two layers of Toxic Spikes up. I mean, a uh, Zen Headbutt from a Mega Medicham may kill. I am really physically bulky, but it's a Mega Medicham. It does one shot. Well, that sucks, because one layer of Toxic isn't good. Hmm. Giratina can probably do some work. Or Volbeat. Getting a Paralysis off would be very nice. It may be super obvious, but that's okay with me. We lift the Zen Headbutt. And now we can go for a Tailwind. If you want to take me out, that's fine. That's unfortunate that you actually missed. Let's go for a Bug Buzz. Because we have not, nothing to worry if he's not going to kill me, but he is. So we get two turns of Tailwind because of that. So let's go Giratina. We have the Tailwind, and we can go for a Shadow Ball. Super effective on Metacham takes it out. Very nice. I didn't want to go straight on the Giratina in case they had like knockoff, something like that. I'm not sure if Mega Metacham gets knockoff, but just in case. Because Giratina would not have appreciated the knockoff. Dusk Noir is gonna come in. Let's go for the Shadow Ball. We outspeed obviously. Even without the Tailwind. 
So I have special defense. He goes for a substitute. And we will go for another Shadow Ball. We get to break the substitute. He can't go for it again. He's going to Willow me. That's not too bad though. Will-O-Wisp or Burn in general has been nerfed down to only a sixteenth of your health every turn. So it's the same as Weather, as in Hail and Sandstorm, and it's the same as regular Poison. So now Gutsmons are just better in general to run Flame Orbs over Toxic Orbs. Oh wait, cancel. Oh, Dragon Pulse. It's the most damaging move I have. I outspeed. And Giratina's pretty strong, so... Rock Polish, not that bad for us. He has to one-shot me. If he wants to take advantage. He didn't one-shot me though, and he's going to go down to the Dragon Pulse. Giratina picking up quite a few kills here, yeah, three at this point. Don't think we're going to get a fourth. I could see the Togedemaru coming in. It doesn't wall me because I can Shadow Ball it, but it's probably faster than me. It is a Pikachu clone. It won't take poison damage. It may not outspeed, I'm not sure of its stat distribution, but I don't think it's that fast. I think it's like base 92 or something. Ooh, this could be awkward if he goes for Sticky Web. Let's go for a Dragon Pulse. It's my most damaging move. He's probably going to go for a Sticky Web. Which, if that's the case, I should go Lopunny now. Because the rest of my Pokemon are pretty slow. Now let's just go Dragon Pulse. So two hit KO, he goes knock off. That's perfect. Watch your speed. 190 you reach. So you outspeed Guzzlord, so we can't go Guzzlord yet. So let's go Megalopony. And let's go for a... I wish I had return. A Thunder Punch should kill. I would go high jump kick, but there's no reason to. Thunder Punch should kill, and the high jump kick has the chance to miss, which would cost me half of my health, and it also isn't very effective. So it actually does less than Thunder Punch. Thunder Punch is base 75. The high jump kick goes from 120 to 180 and then gets cut to 90, so no, it does do more. Hydrum Kick would do slightly more, but it's got the 50% or the 10% chance to miss. Toxic, would I have preferred the 50% gone straight away as opposed to toxic damage? Probably not when he only has two Pokemon left. Really hoping that, that that's what I was hoping for, that his last Pokemon would be the one that came out last. That Togo Damaru will come out next. If he has a ghost type, then he play, he's played this well. Or protect. Because I do want to try and get Guzzlord in to get a kill. Oh, you played that very well. Ow. The pain. So much pain. I knew it got spiky shield. I didn't know it would go for it. High jump kick gonna take out the Togemaru. But Lopony is probably going down here. No, we're gonna live on three. And if my opponent's not too damaging, I may allow him to kill me. Crustle. Well, if he goes for a shell smash, that's very bad for me, so we are gonna have to high jump kick. It's not gonna kill. And the crystal is going to probably be able to take out Guzzlord. 
I don't like it they can do that, but it's probably the truth. Let's go Guzzlord. Facing backwards for whatever reason. And let's go for a Draco. Or Crunch. Let's go Crunch. I know his special defense is higher, uh, is lower than his defense, but he's on 37% with poison, so he should go down. Both of our Pokemon are weak to bug. It's not great. I'm just hoping Guzzlord's monstrous HP allows it to survive. It does, and we critical hit for the kill. It wouldn't have mattered, though. He would have went down poison even without the critical hit, in two turns at least. And that's going to be the end of the third and final battle of today's episode, guys. So with those three wins, that is going to take us to 690 wins, 309 defeats, a 381 game differential, guys. I hope you'll join me tomorrow. But from me, Gomez, thank you guys so much for watching, and goodbye.